Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? It's okay, teacher. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So, ready to start the new level? Yes, I am here. <laughs> okay, well, you're like, well, I'm here, so got I to am, do it. I am more expected for the new level because I don't remember. I remember the other levels in the other place is 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 difficult um i think is i don't i don't speak i don't understand english <laughs> well yeah you do you do actually yeah just give me a second Okay, let's see. Well, oh, Ingrid, so we were talking, man. So you feel like a little bit like mm, not that sure. Well, you gotta be sure because this is, I mean, you're here. So <laughs> we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it through intermediate and then advanced, and you will see, and you will say, oh, this is easy. No yeah. big deal. Yes, maybe only I just want expectativa. I I am expected, but I'm, I don't. Don't worry, don't worry. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Believe me, it's gonna be fun. Okay, it's a um, um, great. Uh, it's more Kevin. Um, it's it's good. Um, so again, see again. To see you. Oh, to see you again. Uh huh. It's 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 good, teacher. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I know. I know. No, no, no. It's a pleasure to see you again. A pleasure, believe me. It's very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Ingrid. Nice having you here, as usual. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Magdaleno. Hello, my friend. How's everything? Hey, hello, teacher. I... Days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yes, I have a lot. I had a lot of, uh, a lot of work last days. Oh, really? You've been busy? Yes, I have been busy. And oh. we had we had a, a, a retreat with the church. Oh, really? Where did you go? Or was there in the same church? It, it was, it was in, uh, it was, <laughs> so sorry. So sorry, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was on uh, Portezuelo in Guayua. Oh, nice. We was how there. Was the, how was the weather? <laughs> so cold. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? I'm not. Really not. Oh, really? No. You don't like it cold? I don't like that. I don't like oh. I, I have an allergy. Really, I'm allergic. I'm allergic. I'm allergic. So, yeah. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I hate that. Very, 
when it's cold, man, that's my my favorite weather. You know, I love a gray, rainy, and cold days. Really? Rainy yeah, maybe I love. No. When one day, no, but if one day fulfills those three aspects, for me, it's the perfect day. <laughs> the beautiful day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's something that I enjoy. Well, yes, we we was there Friday, we there. Saturday. We were we were there on Friday, Saturday, and only Saturday and Friday, and return and come back and come back um, on Saturday night. Okay. Yes. I had, yes, I, I had to to drive. I had to drive for for church. Interesting. Well, it's yeah. good when you got the chance to share them and have those type of experiences with with your people, right? Yes, that's right. Um all of the people, all of the families of all of the families from church uh, was um, were yeah. there. Okay, how many people did you have attendees? Yeah, maybe, maybe there were, maybe they were uh, 100, 150 more the leadership. There was a lot of people. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> In other occasion, only yeah. men there. Um, the only men in other places. Um, they were one hundred fifteen or one hundred twenty-five. Only oh, men. Really? Yes, and the men's retreat. I remember the the last men's retreat in the Costa del Sol. In a hotel, we um, we were we were one one hundred men from church and one no and twenty five men from Austin, Texas, and maybe ten or ten or, or fifty. I don't remember members of the leadership of front church oh, wow it so was the last yes the last uh, retreat man well interesting always interesting talking to you magdalena welcome neither teacher Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, I got new people. Uh, let's see, Carlos Antonio Serrano, good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm good, thank you for asking me. This is my first time over here. And That's I'm nice. so, yeah, I'm so happy <laughs> because I have been like, long time ago that I don't speak English, that I can remember a lot, just a little bit. And I'm just here to listen for. Oh, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. We are, everybody here participates, my friend. Don't worry. Everybody's going to participate. Yeah, that's interesting. And, I like it. Yeah, I mean, um, the idea is for you guys to, to have the chance to, to practice as much as possible. Okay. Okay, well. Thank you, Mr. and welcome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, uh, I got more people here. Uh, Mr. Orlando Nunez, hello, good evening. Hello, good night, everyone. 
Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear uh, you. Remember, uh, when you say hi, cuando saludamos, is good evening. Okay. When we say bye, is good night. Okay. So, good okay. evening. How are you? I'm good. I'm very excited to be here today with you. Um, I want to learn this language because I I want some different uh, like to um, learn how to teach in the future to people as well. But I think to learn this language uh, is going to help me to have better opportunities in this time of my life. Well, that's great. That's the idea, man. The idea. Thank you very much for sharing with us and welcome. You're welcome. Francisco Ayala, good evening. How are you? Francisco Ayala, no? Good evening. You Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, I do. Hello, how are you? But I say, okay, my day was excellent. Uh, really? I, I wonder, uh, what do you do? What's your occupation? My occupation? Yeah. Uh, nowadays, I'm working in the is not a company. Uh, Grupo Atlas, uh, oh, really? Solapango. Uh, I am a. Uh, is is a boss of the area. Okay, interesting. Well, it's so nice to have you here. Uh, let's hope uh, you enjoy your practice with us. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance, the, the first attendance of the class. Uh, Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Present. Carlos Alivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present, teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Present, teacher. Uh, Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Uh, Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Be present, please. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Olman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Echala Montano. I'm here. Josué Rodrigo. I am Jose Rodrigo. Thank you, Jose Rodrigo. Juan Francisco Ayala. Hi. Okay. Thank you. I am here. Carla Lisette Garcia Lemos. Present teacher. Hello, Carla. Welcome. Hello. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga.
Will Preso Areva Nortis? Chiamara Elizabeth Cisneros Portales? Present. Thank you, Chiamara. Uh, Ivani Chamile Dominguez Hernandez? And Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón? Present, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, uh, I'm sorry, I will switch into Spanish for uh, just a couple of minutes. Uh, perdón, voy a cambiar al español unos cuantos minutos de parte de los requerimientos de Instagram. El que, y de inglés corporativo, el que yo les comunique algunas cuestiones y estas van a ser pues, en español. Ok. Let me first of all, veamos primero. Ok, give me just a second. Solo un segundito porque vamos a comenzar con. El... Vamos a ver primero a short video. Let me share with you. El Insafor ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. 
trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. Ok. Ah, este es el video de presentación de Insafor, pero... También vamos a ver, esto es algo que algunos de ustedes ya lo conocen, pero igual es parte del, de los requerimientos. Y esta información que siempre es buena. ¿no? Let's see, guys. Ok. Uh, tareas y evaluaciones. Bueno, mi nombre... Es Douglas Arevalo. Ante todo, eh, para los nuevos, eh, soy profesor de inglés. He trabajado en el área de inglés por, wow, 22 años. Eh, en, en el área de enseñanza del inglés. Eh, mi experiencia, bueno, mi, mis primeras experiencias fueron con adultos trabajando para... Universidad Pedagógica, Universidad Don Bosco, luego he trabajado en distintas instituciones y academias privadas y públicas. Eh, y con Insafor tengo alrededor ya casi los cinco años de estar en, el, en este programa, precisamente, English for Work, Inglés para el Trabajo. Un placer para mí estar aquí con ustedes. Ahora, en lo que respecta a el módulo, bueno. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos, como se nos dice aquí, tienen que estar completadas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que este registro es enviado a esta por semanalmente. Esta es la instrucción. En nuestro caso va a ser cada lunes. Obvio, si usted lo puede hacer durante el fin de semana, pues mucho que mejor, porque yo todos los domingos voy a estar actualizando mi listado y enviándolo. Realmente lo actualizo todos los días, lo reviso todos los días, eh, los resultados. Pero nosotros vamos a mover una fecha porque el miércoles no tenemos clase, ¿verdad? Yo digo que es una suerte. Entonces... La fecha límite para terminar el examen de medio curso, el midterm exam, es el lunes 21 de noviembre, antes de la medianoche. Yo prefiero que sea un poquito antes, porque recuérdense que ese día, pues, estoy después de la clase, estoy actualizando. Eh, y eso lo tengo que hacer manualmente, uno por uno. La fecha límite para terminar el final, el final exam, es el eh, lunes 5 de diciembre, antes de la medianoche. Ahora bien, yo en este caso eh, le sugiero de que pues lo hagamos antes, mucho antes. ¿Por qué? Bueno, un día antes, dos días antes. Porque recuérdense que ese día, a la medianoche, cierra el sistema. O sea, a partir de ese momento usted va a poder ver la plataforma, ver videos, ver los ejercicios, pero ya no le califica. Se me perdería las notas. Y el manual, pues, aparece ahí en la plataforma. No utilizamos manual de terceros. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Eh, les explico. Por cuestiones de que estos videos, como ustedes saben, están a disposición de ustedes eh, por YouTube. Pero, eh, por, también por cuestión de derechos de autor, yo no puedo estarles presentando ustedes videos o presentaciones que tengan 
que están protegidas con derechos de autor. Si no nos metemos en un lío, este, YouTube no cierra el canal. Y ahí sí es un problemita, porque también el canal es un requerimiento de Instagram para nosotros. O sea, se nos complica. Espero su comprensión. Y, y esto es para aclararles, porque yo sé que algunos pues, quizás tengan la expectativa de, nombre no, vamos a ver un video o algo así. Eh, lastimosamente no puedo trabajar con material de tercero. No podemos acceder a eso. Ahora, continuamos. Por favor, cuando los requerimientos, siempre que nos conectemos, un nombre completo. En el caso de oyentes, agregar palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Aquí voy a hacer una aclaración. Yo sé que algunos a veces eh, me dicen, mire, piensa que tengo un problemita, este... Me voy a conectar, pero no voy a estar participando hasta dentro de unos minutos. Solo termino algo, voy de camino o algo así. Usted no es oyente. Oyentes son aquellos alumnos que se les está dando la oportunidad para que no pierdan un nivel porque tuvieron algún problema en inscripción, se quisieron inscribir muy tarde, no enviaron los documentos a tiempo, pero para que no pierdan continuidad se les da la oportunidad de que sigan en un módulo, en un módulo, pero eh, no reciben su diploma. Y de esa manera, pues pueden incorporarse al cliente, se les hace una evaluación en otras partes, ¿verdad? Y se les da la oportunidad de que no pierdan el curso. Ellos son oyentes. ¿Ok? Es algo muy distinto. Eh, cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. En la medida de lo posible. Yo sé que no todos estamos, eh, a, veces, a veces estamos enfermos, a veces estamos en dificultad, pero quienes puedan, yo les estaré muy agradecido. Eh, la recomendación siempre con el sonido, ¿verdad? Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Por favor, no se me molesten. En algunas ocasiones puede ser que algunos de ustedes, eh, puede ser que usted no se dé cuenta, pero algún sonido de fondo que esté por ahí, pues nos está interrumpiendo, se está filtrando. Eh, lo voy a silenciar. Ok, obviamente para participar, pues usted puede activar nuevamente su sonido sin ningún problema. Participación activa, bueno, saben, quienes ya han estado conmigo para los nuevos, eh, todos participamos. La idea es esta, que todos estemos participando, que todos saquemos el mejor provecho de las actividades y la mejor manera de lograrlo es a través de la participación. Y esta participación puede ser activa. Las actividades se diseñan de manera para que todos participemos. Eh, son muchas conversaciones, me enfoco mucho en conversaciones, vamos a trabajar bastante en ellas y va a ser muy interesante. Estoy seguro que nos vamos a entender bien. Bueno, la asistencia al 100% de las clases en la medida de lo posible, por favor. También cumplir con los 120 minutos clases. Okay, porque eso nos genera una asistencia efectiva en la sesión. Acá les explico, Instaform nos cuenta minutos. No es que yo entré y ya me tomaron asistencia y me desconecto. No. Instaform nos pide el reporte de los minutos que usted ha pasado conectado. Nosotros le rendimos cuentas a ellos en eso. Usted tiene que tener el 80% de los minutos de cada módulo para poder aprobar. Para que usted apruebe son tres factores. Uno es asistencia, el otro es la plataforma y el último es la encuesta de satisfacción que Instaform nos pide que ustedes llenen el último día de clase. Entonces la asistencia es muy, muy importante. Esto se toma en presentación. Se va a tomar válida al escuchar al participante decir presente y tener cámara encendida en la medida de lo posible. Vale. Habrán sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante va, se le van a asignar 10 minutos a finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Si ustedes este, tienen alguna duda o desean que les adelante la programación para poder desatender, con gusto. Solamente me lo comunican en privado por un mensajito al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, perdón, por un mensajito de WhatsApp, pero privado. Y pues, con gusto me organizo. Acá dice permiso no disponibles. Les explico. Instaform no autoriza permiso. No tenemos permiso. Si usted me dice, mire, teacher, fíjese que tengo un algo, surgió algo y no puedo estar. Yo le puedo decir, bueno, me doy por enterado. Pero eso no quiere decir que usted ya tiene un permiso de nosotros. 
Simplemente es que, bueno, ya lo supe. ¿Ok? Eh, si ya estoy enterado que usted no va a asistir, pero no quiere decir de que tiene un permiso y de que eso nos justifica algo. Esta forma no nos permite permiso. Por eso les digo, seamos cuidadosos con los minutos, porque tenemos unas poquitas fechas que podemos faltar y si no, pues hay quienes de qué se acabaron ese tiempo en las primeras clases y después yo les digo mire, ya llegó a su límite, si usted no se conecta al 100% pierde pierde el módulo entonces por favor, prestemos la atención eh, el botón silencio mío como les decía, en la medida de lo posible, pues tengámoslo así, a menos que sea el momento que usted participe, la cámara, cuando podamos mantenerla activa, chat, utilizamos dos chats, utilizamos el de Zoom durante la clase, y utilizamos el de WhatsApp también durante la clase, lo utilizo. Eh, breakout rooms, vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms, continuaremos ahí, utilizándolo para conversaciones, discusiones, este, es una actividad bastante interesante. Recuérdense, está ahí el botoncito Ask for Help, pedir ayuda o levantar la mano. Y pues, se lo hace y yo veo cómo me muevo cuando están trabajando de grupo a grupo para ayudarles. Ante todo, respeto. Recordemos eso, es muy importante. El hecho de que nos respetemos unos a los otros, pues permite que esto funcione mejor. Ok. Preguntas. No questions. No question. Okay. Very well. Let me see. Hmm. I could help to turn. I got somebody else here. Well, let's continue, guys. Let's continue. Well, the first class, the very first class, I tried to talk to you with, with all of you. La primera clase trato de conversar con todos. At least a couple of minutes, one minute, just to get to know each other. So let's be patient, okay? Tengo un poquito paciencia. Gabriel, hello. How are you, Gabriel? Ready? Hey teacher, good evening. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Did you have a good day today? No. Did you have a good day today? Um, How was your day? I'm sure Fine. So, so. Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. Nice, um, Gabriel. Uh, yeah, tell me. Here, he went into to learn English. Okay, willing to learn English. That's the attitude. That's the very first thing we got to have. Yes. Excellent, Gabriel, and welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Hey, Carla, how are you? Carla Lisset. Hola, hola, me escucha. Yes, I do. Hola, hola. No, ok. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, you? Ah, just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story. Ok. And tell me, how was your day? Very good. Oh, really? What did you do today? Yes. Okay, so tell me a little bit. Um, uh, what do you say, Miss Marutina? The same routine. The same routine. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. Um, work at uh, home, the home at uh, work. From home to work and from to work to home. Okay. 
Okay. Well, yeah, you know, that's the way it goes. Así nos toca. Just routine. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Nice having okay. you here. Let's see, Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I bless you. Meet you. No, it's uh, see you. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice to see you too. Always nice to see you. <laughs> so, ready for the class? Ready, ready. Okay, excellent. That's just great. That's the attitude, my friend. So, tell yes. me, what's new? Hmm. Pedro Bueno, Pedro Nuevo. Mm, relax, relax. I, I rest and yeah, these days. Oh, really? You've been resting? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Relax um, activities in the in the weekend. Uh, I had a wait. I had wait new programs. In the case, the uh, the class in the church. Oh, really? You started a new program? That's nice. And how's that program that program going? Yes, the program. I wait a uh, meeting. I wait meeting in the in the leadership in the church. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's nice. Yes. That's very nice, and of course, it's a very good opportunity for you. Thank you, Ivan. Yes, welcome. Sir. You're welcome. Let's see. Mr. Gustavo Ramirez, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Tell me a little bit about yourself, please. About uh, myself. Oh, what can I say? Uh, Right now, I'm a little tired. My day was in the office all day, <laughs> the same routine. And uh, we can say the whole night the work, the work at the home, and the day every day. Um, I'm younger, I think. I think I am 30 years old. Ah, uh, yeah, you're young. <laughs> yeah, so younger, no. Um, yeah, I was studying English a few years ago, and now we can now I can start again and continue in the same way. I want I want to learn so much English. I want to learn more a uh, better pronunciation. Uh, so I want to learn more. Yeah. It's always good to try to improve. I mean, everybody needs to improve. I need to improve. I need to practice. Everybody does. Yeah. And to be willing to do it is excellent. Thank you very much and welcome. Thanks a lot, teacher. Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Well, I feel, yes, we got a couple of minutes. Luis Mario, Criollo, hello, how are you? Mario, hello. Perhaps not. Having trouble, having trouble. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see to help. Hey, Oscar, hello. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Ready for the class? Yes, yeah, teacher. Yes. Ready to, to more. 
that's the attitude, my friend. That's great. That's great. We are going to learn. Thank you very much. And welcome. Thank, Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, welcome all of you. Uh, further on, I will have the time to get to know each one a little bit more to talk to you. And let's see. Welcome the new ones, Francisco, Holman Sanchez, let's see, there's Gustavo Ramirez, Marlon Gutierrez, Josue, nice having you here, guys. Orlando Nunez, excellent. Uh, Carlos Antonio Serrano. I'm so happy to have new people. Oh, it's always good to get to know new faces. And believe me, we are going to have fun. And we are going to start having fun right now. Okay. We are going to do exercise one from the manual. By the way, do you have the manual, guys? Yes, I have. Yes, it's here. Okay. Let's do something. If somebody doesn't, let me try to get it for you. See, just a second, this thing is kind of slow. Well, I just share it with you in the WhatsApp group so you can have it, take it. Download it if you really need to. Because we are going to start working on it right now, right about now, okay? In page number now, in the in the manual, well, we got the, the objective. Let me show. Let me share it with you so you can watch what I'm talking about. Okay, the very first topic we are going to be dealing with is about the restaurants. Okay, so the restaurant industry. And we are going to talk about services and characteristics. What, how do they make restaurants more appealing, appealing to customers? Okay. So, these first two questions, these first three questions are the ones we are going to be working with. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite restaurant? What makes this restaurant a special place? What is more popular in your city, takeout or delivery service? So these questions we are going to discuss working in little groups, three members per group. You are going to be assigned six minutes for the conversation, asking and answering. And when we come back here to the main room, I will need you to, to well, I will be asking some of you some questions about it. Perhaps I will be asking some of you all the questions or just one or two, but the idea is for us to talk, to participate, okay? So let me just check. Okay.
Let's see what's happening. Let's Mario from connect. Francisco, you didn't go to the room? But oh. I, I don't know. Okay, let me try to fix this. Can you hear me? Paper restaurant. Can you hear me right now? Yeah, Francisco. What is your favorite restaurant? Um, my favorite restaurant. Uh, mm, I can say that is the Sheraton. It is a beautiful place. Uh, and you, Carlos, what is your favorite restaurant? I don't have any favorite restaurant. I just eat anywhere. I don't uh, have any, any, any special restaurant, but maybe I can uh, maybe pizza. Maybe it's a, it's a place where you, we can call a restaurant, right? I don't know. Why do you want to call the restaurant? What? It is a fast food. Fast Full restaurant. Yeah, it's a Carlos Salivando, you couldn't go to the group. Sorry, teacher. Now no me manda el grupo. Okay, vamos a probar ahora. No tiene problema, está haciendo. No, te chico, me manda el grupo pequeño. Qué raro. Y solo me vuelve para acá. Well, no worry, no worry. We are going to recall everybody in a few seconds, okay? Okay, chico. Give me just one minute to go check how everybody's doing and now. Many food. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's go nine, everybody. 
That is just 60 seconds to go back to the main room. Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back. We're just gonna wait a few seconds, okay? I'm here, drinking coffee. Oh, that's cool, I love drinking coffee. Thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, Carlos Antonio Serrano. Hello. Hello, teacher. Tell me, what's your favorite restaurant, mister? Maybe it's not a restaurant, it's a fast food. It's ah, a fast food uh, joint. Which one? A pizza Hut. Oh, That's my yeah. favorite, yeah. Okay, which is the specialty you enjoy the most? You're, to, you're looking about the food or? Yeah, yeah, the food. Another which piece. one is your favorite in, at Pizza I like, I like I like pizza, yeah. Okay, all kind of pizza. Pineapple is my favorite. Oh, pineapple pizza. pizza. Yeah. yeah, it's delicious. I like it. I like it. So it's very, very delicious. Yeah. Well, that's quite interesting, my friend. Now, let's see. Uh, I think everyone think likes. Yes, tell me. Okay. Okay. I, I was about to say that I think everyone likes pizza. Hmm. To be honest with you, Mostly. most of the people, because uh, I mean, it's not the, my problem is not that I don't like pizza. The problem is that my stomach, I'm old. <laughs> so my stomach doesn't like pizza that much. Well, my stomach doesn't like a lot of things now. I mean, I can eat them at certain hours because at night is a big no-no for me. Thank you very much, Carlos. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's see. Antonio Rodas. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Tell me, Antonio. Uh, what about you? What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, I I was to, to, talking with Magdalena and in, in Jose. Uh -huh. And uh, I... I I told them that I don't I don't have favorite restaurant. All right, the, why not? The almost, yeah. mm, I don't know. Uh, uh, I prefer to eat at, at home with my family. The almost I uh, I we were going to go to the the buy the the food and go back to home and eat with my family. Oh. Maybe maybe because uh, I don't I don't like the the place uh, llenos or saturados. How do you yeah, say? Full places, crowded places. Crowded. Yes. But mm -hmm, but uh, sometimes maybe in the in the afternoon I 
I like to maybe go to for a, a cup of coffee in, in some bakery. I, okay. I buy a cup of coffee with a piece of, of, of bread and enjoy. Uh, but okay. a little time, maybe maybe 20 minutes or 45 minutes and after that. Uh, go back home and that's it. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. No, that's okay. That's okay. Very interesting. So you like take out. Take out. Take out. Okay, yes, teacher. Take out. Thank you. Mr. Mardo and Jonathan Gutierrez. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, what about you? What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant is uh, Buffalo Wings because I love it. Uh, ch the chunks in barbecue. Oh, really? That's nice. Okay, and uh, what makes that restaurant special for you? I mean, just the food or the, the, the environment, the ambience? What, is, what does it make it special for you? Um, uh, the, uh, I, I like the, the pizza hut in other restaurants. The pizza because I love the uh, pepperoni pizza. Mm. And I like it, I like it, um, a toaster. Oh, yeah. okay. crusty. Uh, toaster. Oh, toaster. Okay. Interesting. Thank you very much and welcome. Ingrid, what about you? What's your favorite restaurant, Ingrid? Um, I like the Italian restaurant. I remember okay. one restaurant, El, El Rosal, restaurant El Rosal. It's, Where is it located? It's near the the Crown Plaza Hotel. Okay. Okay, it's very delicious. Crown Plaza, Crown. Crown, Crown Plaza Hotel. Hotel. Hotel, Hotel. Okay, yeah, it's close to your house, right? Yeah. Relatively. Uh, yes, 20 minutes. Okay, that's close. Nah. Uh, when how? Oh, oh when sweetie, <laughs> if, if I have to go there, it takes me two hours. Oh, so when you're when you're hungry, it's far, twenty minutes. No, teacher, this traffic is mm, <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah. But is but for this, it's no near. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Interesting. Let's see, uh, Mr. Josue. Hello, Josue. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. What is your name? My name is Douglas Arevalo. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice to meet you. Tell me. Nice meeting you too, Josue. Tell me, what's your favorite restaurant? Do you have a, a favorite one? Oh, my goodness. I like um, El Chowi restaurant. Oh, really? What's the specialty there? What type of um, food? I don't know how to say in English. Um, tortas? It's a uh, hot dog and tortas. Yeah, well, you know, it's complex because a given name, you're not supposed to change it. Se supone que un nombre propio no lo vamos a producir. But actually, tortas are a type Cake. of sandwich. sandwich. Yeah, for, them it's, for them, it's a type of sandwich. Sunshine, okay. But you can also say tortas because that's the given name. It's a number profile. So that's uh -huh. okay. Okay, so you like them? Yeah. Um, okay, how many do you eat? How many? Let's see if you really like them. How three, many? Three, three times a, a the week. Three times At a week. week. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. And how many? How many tortas can you eat? Mm, only one because there, only one. Are, there are different sizes. 
Oh. Ah, it, you can eat, you can eat a little one, medium one, and large one. Mm, that would be interesting. Yes. To try the large one. Is it really large? Yeah, yeah it's like um, 40 centimeters. Yeah, like that is 40. Oh, 40 is like this. See, this is like, like yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Now um, we are talking. Now we are talking. <laughs> yes. Um, That's interesting. Yeah. Because okay. has, Yeah. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, because um, moreover, how um, chicken, how, how there are a lot of there. It has a uh, lot ingredients. Ingredients. Chicken yes. and ingredients. Yep. Okay. Well, that's interesting. <clears throat> Thank you. Yes. Okay. Welcome. Now let's see. Let me get the second attendance, guys. Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias. Carlos Elibardo Abre de Marmol. Thank you, Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Pérez. Present teacher. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. No estoy present. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Thank you, Ingrid. No le voy a agradecer okay. a Laura Toda. Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Juan Francisco Achala Montano. Present. Carla Lizeth García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Wilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Ivania Chamilet Domínguez Hernández. And Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Okay, guys. Present, Next teacher. activity. Thank you very much, Marlon. Welcome. Thank you. Yep. Um, I open my accounts with my phone and after with my 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 computer. So I am Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Didn't I mention your name? Well, uh, Josué Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Ortiz Monterrosa. Perfect. Thank ah, you. Okay. okay. Okay, guys. Next activity. Okay, the conversation. Let's see the context. The context is Luigi has a pizza restaurant, but he wants to have more customers. Of course, right? Read the conversation, complete the statements below. But we are not just going to read the conversation. We are going to practice the conversation because we are coming back from a little bit of vacation and I need to listen to you repeating, practicing, okay? This is going to be interesting. So please pay attention. And it goes like this. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, 
I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sous. It's not the cheese or sous, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sous. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, I repeat, guys. Okay? Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. Nah, nah, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sous, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then. We will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna thank you. Practice, okay? Let me just check little something. Okay, because you are going to practice it. Remember to switch roles. You will have five minutes. And after that, we start presenting. I will pick just uh, four couples to present, okay? It will be done random. It's because of time, okay? Let's jump in. Sure. Marlon, Jonathan, and Carlos, why don't you practice here in the main room? Why don't you practice here? Okay. Okay, teacher. Your or restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration that display. 
We also need more room for more table. And we have to hire to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the thought. It's not the secret. The, the secret. Okay, thank you, teacher. Fred. Okay. No, no, the, the secret is in the sauce. It's no the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customer, and we don't receive the take out order. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce that will be the new specialty of the house of the house. Okay. Si quiere, you continue with Oscar. I will oh. okay, Oscar. Hola, hello. Okay, start you, Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restroom is too small. The rest, the restroom next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It is not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have two of our table reservation of regular customers and we don't reside take out take out orders, so let's start with that. Uh, yes, Carla, you are genius. Uh, then we'll add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new special of the house. Okay. Okay, now start you. Carla, after, so I am in after Oscar. I am Ingrid. Okay, okay. I start. Yeah. Maybe, okay. maybe. You start. We, okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer. But cheese is very damn pepperoni. <clears throat> really, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. Oscar? No, no. The secret is the how is the sauce. It's no the cheese or sauce, Luigi. Sauce, mm -hmm. sauce. We have to <coughs> offer table reservation sí, te... for regular customers. <coughs> and we don't receive a out order. So let's start with that. Yes, you are giving. making delivery. No, no, the secret is in the field. If not the chase on the soul, Luigi, we have to offer table the same, the same celebration for regular customer. I'm and sorry, guys, to interrupt you. Uh, it's time. Okay. So right now, everybody's coming back to the main room. Okay. Thank you. So we are just going to wait a few seconds for everybody to be here so we can do the activity, okay?
Okay, Gustavo Ramirez, you are going to start. You and, let's see, and Carlos Elivaldo. Gustavo, you start. Okay, I'll start. Maybe we need a, maybe, sorry, I'll start again. <clears throat> maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think all of the restaurant is so small. The restaurant is door is the bigger time mm -hmm. of the pizzeria. They had more beautiful decoration to this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hear the person to make in delivery. No, no. The secret is in the south. It's not the cheese or so Luigi. We have to offer table reserve reservation for regular customers. I we done the saving they all order to let the star win talk. Um yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay. Interesting. Very well done, guys. Uh, just remember that will be the new specialty of the house. Specialty, okay? Specialty, specialty, okay. Thank you. Now, let's see, next ones. Josue uh, and Magdaleno. Josue, you start. Ready, Magdaleno? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer, but cheese is better than pepperoni. We, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables. And we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no. This secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or the sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla. You are a genius. Then... We will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the Special. house. Come on, what? Specialty. Specialty. It's specialty. Specialty it's of specialty. the house. Specialty. Okay. Magdaleno, regular. 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 Regular teacher. Perfect. Orlando, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, Carla, your turn. Let's see. Okay. Carla, you start. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza, so we get more customer, but cheese is better than <laughs> pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for small tables, and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret. In the is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers, and we and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese. And more and more sauce 
that would be the new, especially of the host. Oh. Of the house, of the house. Of the house. Secret, secret, Carla, secret. Secret. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, sure. Uh, finally, is at the house or at the house? The house or the house? It can be the house, it can be the house. Okay. The only one that cannot be is the, because you pronounce the when it is before a vowel, the apple, the elephant. The airplane. The airplane, the house, the house. Either one, it's okay, both are okay. Okay, thanks a lot, teacher. You're welcome. Ingrid. Ingrid and Carlos Antonio Serrano. Ingrid, you start. Okay, teacher, just a second, please. Oh, no, no, yeah, one second is gone already. <laughs> okay, I start, okay. Maybe we need, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make delivery. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, are you Gen genius, genius, genius. Then, genius. Then we we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the news, especially of the house. Okay, that will be the new specialty of the house. Perfect. Ivan and Oscar. Uh, Oscar, you start. Okay, teacher. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer. But she is better than pepperoni. Greetings. I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is the bigger that or pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables, and we have to hire a person to make deliver. No, no. The secret is the, in the sauce. It is not the cheese or sauce. Really. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive they have ordered, so let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we, uh, we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new special of the house. The new specialty. The new specialty. specialty. Okay, thank you very much. Xiomara and Gabriel. Gabriel, you start. Xiomara, you ready? Okay. Maybe we need to have more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer. But cheat is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. 
We also need more room for more tables, and we have to hire a person to make the living. No, no, the secret is in the south. It's not the cheap or south, maybe. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers, and we can receive take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see Antonio Rodas and Holman. Uh, Holman, you start. Okay. <clears throat> um, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we need, so we get more <clears throat> customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Really, I think our restaurant, restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Bridget. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't, we don't re receive takeoff order. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of, this, of the house. Okay, perfect, thank you. Secret, secret. And let's see, Carlos Alivaldo, did you practice already? All right. Yes, teacher. Okay. Francisco Echala and Marlon Jonathan. Okay. Uh, Francisco, you start. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe we need to add more money to the pizza so we get more cost, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have right. more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more <coughs> and we have to hear delivery. No, no, the secret is in the shoes. It's not the cheese or use Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, hi James. Then, then we will end more cheese and more shoes. Then will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, guys, thank you. Very well done. Let's see, everybody did it. I'm sorry, uh, I, I will explain in Spanish. Perdón, voy a explicar. Estoy teniendo un pequeño problemita con la señal, eh, con la intensidad de la señal, es debido a eso que por momentos apago la cámara. Okay, le ruego su comprensión. Let's see, let's see. Well, uh, we go back to the manual. Uh, there's a couple of exercises we need also to explain a little bit, but before I will switch the order of the 
of the exercise a little bit so we can fulfill everything, okay? Let me just check on a little something here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do that, but before I want to explain this, how to use comparatives, okay? Now, the comparative form of adjectives, uh, well, we use it to compare people, things, animals, right? Like in the case of, we say, delivery service is better than takeout. When the adjective has one or two syllables, make the comparative by adding er to the end of the adjective, then use then after the adjective. So the adjective, like in this case, it's cheap. Okay, right, it's cheap. What do we do? We add er and after the word then, okay? So er means in this case, it will mean something like mas, cheap es barato. So cheaper, mas barato. Then, careful with this, la palabra then. It expresses comparative, okay? And it is used just with comparatives. It means que, but just when talking about comparisons, just when making comparison. In English, we have what, what means que in a question. That, T-H-A-T, means que also in a affirmative sentence. It also means eso. I mean, significa eso, right? But uh, I want to tell you that tonight's class still has half an hour. That, que. But then is used exclusively for comparison, okay? El then se utiliza solamente para comparativo. So we place it after the make comparison, right? That is like almost the same as in Spanish. We place the expression que after. So let's go back to the screen I was sharing. Okay. Look at the example, the buffet restaurant on the corner is cheaper than the one on Main Street. Look at the second example, the waiters at the French toast are faster than. Fast is the adjective, okay? The ER is other. La ER es lo que le hemos agregado al adjetivo. So, it can make a comparison. That's why the waiters at the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Bon Cafe. Now, when the adjective has more than two syllables, we use more before the adjective and then after it. When the adjective is long, like beautiful, expensive, cuando el adjetivo es largo, como beautiful and expensive, we place more at the beginning, ponemos la palabra more al inicio, and then we use then at the end. Look at the examples. All restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Okay. Question. Sure. Yeah. Could you repeat the pronunciation of faster? It's faster or faster? Faster. Faster. You faster. pronounce the T. Yeah, faster. It's okay. In what case? In what cases you told you 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 said that don't pronounce the consonant? Uh, in after T, internet. Okay, after after N. No, the N. Let's see, internet. Oh, the T after M, yeah. Thank you, Tisha. You're welcome. 
Okay, guys, now let's go back to the manual. What's the exercise we are going to do? We are going to go to page number nine again from the manual. And from there, we are going to make two different exercises, okay? Let me share with you so I can share and explain at the same time, okay? So we are going to do part three, exercise three and exercise four. In the first one, discuss the answer to the questions below. You just need to fill in with the information from the conversation. In the second one, match the restaurant industry words to their meanings. This is vocabulary related to the restaurant industry. We talk about specialty, buffet, book a table, take out, delivery. These are the, the, the vocabulary and these are the concepts. You can call a restaurant, order food, and take it to your home to make a reservation at a restaurant. A package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. Different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. A dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, this is what we are going to do. First, you need to fill in here, and then you need to place the number according to the concept, okay? So now you're going to have five minutes again. You go to the groups, the same groups you were doing for the practicing of the conversation, and then I'm going to recall you, okay? Ok, tengo problemas problema con mi ancho de banda, voy a desconectar nuevamente, ok guys. Okay, the next, number four, is it right? Okay. right? The house, more beautiful decoration than this, this place. Uh -huh, than this place, Dance. than this place. Than this place, okay. Okay, number four, match the restaurant industry words to their meaning. Did you know all of them? 
specialty. Okay. Where do you think? Where do you think? Um, what is um, the correct options? Where do you think? Where? Maybe. Okay, yes, it's easier. You can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. It is? In your opinion, Carla? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that is delivery. Could you read five. the second? Yes, the number five. Could you read five. the second? Could you read the second, Carla? Come. Could you read the second? Podrías leer la segunda? Ah, okay. To make a reservation at a restaurant. Okay, I think sixty seconds, guys. Sixty seconds. Okay, guys, let's go check it out. Okay, number one, Carla Lizette Garcia. In part number three, she is. Okay, guys, she is better time. Better than. Then. Okay, this is better than, excellent. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Next one, number two, Carlos Antonio Serrano. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. Okay, bigger than our pizzeria. Perfect. Now, next one. Josue. Number three. They have. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, your microphone. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. Okay. 
yourself. More beautiful, beautiful decorations than then Excellent. Now, in part number three, match. Match the restaurant. Let's see who's going to start. Mr. Orlando. Yes. Number one, specialty. What is the specialty? Is a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's a specialty. Great. Now, buffet. What is a buffet, Gustavo? Uh, buffet? Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Ingrid Beatriz, number three. Book, Book a, a table. table. Yeah. Um, to make a reservation at a restaurant. Okay, no. perfect. Yes, that's correct. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, 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 okay. That's the book at table to make a reservation or a restaurant. Number four, Antonio Rodas. Number four. Yeah. Okay. A package, a package meal that, that you can eat away from the restaurant. Okay. Perfect. A package meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. That's takeout. And number five, let's see, let's see. Marlon, would you mind reading for us? All right. Please read, delivery. Delivery. The, uh, repeat, please. Just, I just need you to read. Okay, you can call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. Take it, take it. Take it. Yes, exactly, take it. Okay, thank you, mister. Okay, guys, now, next activity, also from the manual, exercise number six, page number 10 on your manual. Complete the statements using the comparative form of the adjectives in parentheses, okay? So let's see if we really catch this. You need to make to follow the example, delivery is more convenient than takeout. We have here familia. Number two, the beverages are, in this case, we got cheap, it's short. As it is short, we just add ER. So here you will write cheaper. Can I give it cheaper? And here in the second space, then, okay? So guys, uh, three minutes to finish this exercise, okay? Let's do it.
Miss Mario, what happened to you? Yes. Are uh, mm, you more romantic? Dambra. Yes. This one. Oh, the buffet at Ming Li restaurant is more complete than. Yes. Um, the service is more faster than no 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 the service is faster why because it's fast es corto si es corto El comparativo se expresa agregándole el. El Ajá. more se expresa en comparativo de los adjetivos largos. Si te antepone el adjetivo. More mm. comfortable. Más cómodo. Mm. Faster. Ok. Ok, teacher. Finish. The, no. Teacher. Yeah. Oh, we have we have three space in this sentence. Which one? Number. Number five. Their service is yeah, but it's just faster than. Okay. No thank you. Only, okay, thank you. only faster than. Yes, faster than the restaurant. Okay. The what is the, the meaning of the ambiance? Ambiance. El ambiente. Ah, el ambiente. Es el ambiente. Uh, uh, the environment is changing. Yeah, the, uh, the environment is the, I mean, the environment es el ambiente en cualquier lugar, but the ambiance okay. refers al ambiente en un lugar donde hay una fiesta, okay. eh, un lugar donde Un lugar cerrado. It depends the context. No, it yeah. depends on the place. Oh, it depends. Well, yeah, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. The mm -hmm. avians in Javi's kitchen is, is more appealing. Appealing. Attractive. Okay. Appealing. 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 Yeah, appealing. Uh, uh, 
Teacher, sorry, I I had work uh, uh, 15 minutes ago. I don't understand this explanation, but I have one uh, doubt. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Tomorrow I will give you a presentation, okay? Mañana le voy a poner una presentación. So I can expand the, the explanation. Uh, it's very, okay. thank you. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, teacher, what do you mean? Uh, appealing, this say? Appealing. Yes, attractivo. Ah, uh, thank you. But not to the person, más que a una persona. Okay? No like that. The place? Yeah. The place is appealing. A situation is appealing. A person uh, has, uh, oh, in the 90s, I remember we used to use a phrase. Te acuerdo que en los 90 usamos la frase that a person's got sex appeal. Se habla mucho de sex appeal. Y, y en español, ¿cuándo puedo decir que una situación es atractiva? It's attractive. Yeah, a situation is attractive. It is attractive to me. The difference between appealing and attractive is, uh, I mean, appealing is atrayente. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. No problem, Ms. Mari. Don't worry. Okay, guys. It's we're just waiting for everybody to come back. Angry, the angry is like almost asleep. Right, angry? Yes, teacher. Today was tired. Yeah, and it's the first day of the module. It's normal. Yes. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. That's, I mean, it's acceptable, it's normal. I know guys that it's the first day of class and on a Monday, everybody's like, wanna go sleep, right? But don't worry, not. I know that tomorrow you're going to be better and uh, after the first week, everything's cool. This exercise, we are going to solve it together next class tomorrow and tomorrow I will also have a presentation for you expanding the explanation of the comparatives okay so we can get like more immersed in them so let's see uh, let me get the final attendance because it's actually time to finish let's see uh, Carlos Antonio Serrano Arias present teacher thank you very much mister welcome but bye right now is the end right uh, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, my friend. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltran Perez. Gabriel is like almost asleep, he says. Gustavo Javier Ramirez Carranza. I hear teacher. Sleeping. Uh, Gust Gustavo is young. He's like, no problem. We can stay here all night. Easily, he said. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios. You here? Yeah, she's here. Yes, <laughs> I'm present. I am here. 
Okay, Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, my friend. See you tomorrow, Ivan. Nice having you here. Welcome. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. There you are. Thank you, mister. Nice having you here. Jose Rodrigo Ortiz Monterrosa. Present the teacher. Here I am. Okay, perfect. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Present. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Luis Mario Cuello Guerrero. Okay, thank you, Luis Mario. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Nelson Antonio Present, Rodas Rosales. Thank you, Magdaleno. Present teacher. Also, thank you, Nelson. Orlando Francisco Núñez. Present. Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Vilma Yesenia Alvarenga. Wilfredo Areva Ortiz. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Marlon Jonathan Gutierrez Girón. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Hey guys, a pleasure to have you here. Uh, let's hope tomorrow we can really get into the rhythm. Don't worry, for tomorrow we are going to have more activities, so don't feel that it's the first class. I know that it's tiring for some of you, but we're gonna get the rhythm. Thank you very much, okay? And I see you tomorrow. Yes, Orlando, tell me. Uh, can you add me to the WhatsApp group because I'm not there? Actually in the, in, uh, in the correo que les enviaron apareciera en arte. Oh, okay. No, okay. No. Check it out. If not, okay. let me know tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. See you good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Okay, well, first class has ended, but we are just going to wait a few seconds, a few minutes.
Okay, well, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.